the target is to get our iron ore numbers beyond uh, the 60 million tons to 67 million tons. However, uh, one of the studies that we are completing, in fact, we asked UCT to help us uh, with that work, is to look at what is the um, uh, what is the health impact on humans of both manganese and iron ore in the air? Uh, as you'd know, Saldana at um, 60 million tons and uh, uh, manganese is around roughly 8 million tons at present. We really have to worry ourselves about the health impacts. And so that for us is going to be the, bounding, um, uh, the boundary for how far we can go with manganese and iron ore in, in, in Saldana. Uh, that study, when it comes out, we will discuss quite extensively because it's not about us only. Manganese, you know, our target number is 22.7 uh, million tons for exports. Uh, we're quite far down the line with the um, RFP for a partner to help us build the manganese terminal in Mocha. Now, as South Africans, we need to make sure that we don't export manganese as dirt. It's the new minerals that we require for renewables, for the green industry. If we're going to be able to have a second chance at reindustrializing, these are the resources we have to watch like hawks as South Africans to make sure value addition happens here. Because I will keep reminding all of us is that we mustn't forget the fact that we've got 70% youth unemployment and 9% absorption of young people. And if you're not paying attention, you would have missed the news yesterday about what's happening in Tembisa. I really think it is about time that we acted in the interest of our country and not in the interest of our individual pockets. On coal, we've been quite upfront. We're not going to go beyond the 81 million tons uh, per annum. We are not hitting it very far from it. The force majeure that we indicated last year, we were going to arrive at 60 million tons. As you read in the press, the mining industry and their journalists uh, go on an active attack as many times as they can. We'll deal uh, with that. Towards the end, we'll indicate to you uh, where we're at and where we're going. Coal, we've decided we're capping ourselves. We have a responsibility to deal um, with um, the greening, uh, with, the, with the decarbonization. And we have indicated that our intention, intention is that by 2035, we should be neutral. Um, I don't know, it's not 2035. 2035. I think we said something like 10 years, so you'll forgive me because the years keep moving on and, and I've not marked a year in the calendar. But we're clear that we have to make a contribution as uh, Transnet. And frankly, as a company which borrows a lot of the money that we have, both in South Africa and globally, the big problem that we have when we go for fundraising is all of the funders say, ring fence, anything that has to do with coal or carbon, we're not going to fund that, you deal with that yourself. So it's a real issue globally. Chrome magnetite, really important. Um, the target is to get to 37 million tons uh, per annum, and we are maximizing um, on the flow towards Maputo. Now, the Maputo flow is really important for us because it enables us to have a short route and so ensures that our rolling st stock is kept uh, to the, uh, um, a manageable amount. The new relationship that we've struck up with CFM will come up and uh, we decided, we agreed that we would pilot and see how we operate and how we, we um, the ben if the benefits are absolutely clear for both sides. And so far, uh, we always thought that they would be obvious because we basically, the end game is to create a single pool of rolling stock and to have put to port operations. We are starting to see some benefits in as far as that's concerned and we will be starting to run much longer trains on that one. And then obviously Richards Bay is the other port that we've targeted for that. Autos and containers and uh, agriculture are three commodities which would use the uh, fundamentally the container uh, corridor. Uh, there's a lot of work that we need to do on these, and we are talking quite actively with government uh, to ensure that it is funded uh, appropriately so that we can be able to continue to drive uh, exports. The Bokhubai, on Bokhubai, one of the things that we're trying to do is to figure out if we can have a railway line which is around the 500 kilometer mark, uh, which would even be much more efficient um, through to the port. 
And as you know, Durban uh, Gauteng is uh, about 730 kilometers when you're coming into the manufacturing hub, right? So those uh, distances are real issues that we always have to deal with in South Africa. Uh, we spent some time um, recently in, at the beginning of the year in Thailand. Uh, virtually every single vehicle that arrives at the port is on road because the furthest um, plant is about 167 uh, kilometers from the port relative to our 730. So those differences are quite real and it's quite unfortunate that whenever we report, we never go contextual. It's just an attack uh, without with ignoring uh, that issue. But we've got to do a lot more work around finding ways and means of ensuring efficient transportation of agricultural uh, commodities um, to the port. Also, manufacturing is, a, is the issue of uh, size. It's not a train. It's not 400 wagons or 200 wagons. There, you have to be running trains which are 50 wagons, and it's uh, lots of shunting, a lot of consolidation, and that's why it's important for us that we partner with the private sector in that area. And then the last segment would be fuel and gas, and we are moving TPL a lot more strongly into uh, the, the, gas, uh, the gas space.